Welcome people of YouTube to North American Coal's Freedom Mine outside of Beulah, North Dakota. We've featured this mine in past videos, so today we're doing a deep dive on arguably their most unique machine on site, and that's the Cress Coal Hauler. These purpose-built trucks are designed with only one material in mind, and that's coal, which also makes them some of the world's biggest trucks. So let's check them out. 523, could you pull in to the ditch as well when you get to coal handling? Yeah. Is there anything in between? So what's going on here is shift change. It's about 3 p.m. The day shift just came in and then the night shift is getting ready. They're doing their walk arounds. While they're doing their walk arounds, we're gonna walk around the truck and explain some of the key features. First up is the front set of tires. There's four tires on the front, four tires on the back. A machine this long you think would be really difficult to turn. The turning radius would be absolutely horrendous. However, Cress has cleverly designed this to turn actually pretty quick thanks to this front axle and its ability to turn its tires almost 90 degrees so that it can pivot on that back axle and turn within the cut in a very uh, con confined space. So that is a key feature to make these trucks practical in these coal mines. Next, how do they dump? Well, they essentially have a trap door on the bottom. It's a belly dump style. If you've seen belly dump trucks, similar principle. It ends up at a V and the bottom there, that material sits there until it's ready to dump on that stockpile or the Grizzlies. And then it has the trap door on the bottom that opens up and the material slides right out. Uh, it takes about 10, 15 seconds and this entire truck is completely empty. Next are the, the hydraulic sideboards. It's that piece of steel on the very top there connected to that hydraulic cylinder. That, when the truck is coming in to get loaded, comes down so the loader can get its bucket up and over and load this truck quickly and efficiently. As it's leaving the cut, it'll raise those sideboards up to keep that coal in there so it's not falling all over the place. All right, now we're in the back of the truck here. That's where the engine is. The funniest thing about this truck is because the engine is so far behind the cab, the cab is extremely quiet. You can't hear the engine. That's a Caterpillar engine back there. Uh, hold on, let me see how much horsepower it is. Uh, right here, ready to go. Uh, so that power system there is a Caterpillar 3516C engine. Its gross power is 2,100 horsepower. That's a lot. 2,100 horsepower. Those red tanks, a lot of people ask what the heck those red tanks are on heavy equipment. That's the fire suppression system. If that engine were to catch fire or get too hot, those tanks, they typically have a, a foam agent in there that floods the engine and stops the machine from burning extremely quickly. That's a requirement on most mine sites. Most machines on any kind of mine site will have those. We're down here in the pit. We've had the drag lines and shovels strip away the overburden, which is to my left here. And we've exposed the good stuff, the coal. They can dig it and then they can load these crest trucks. This blade here is here to create some traction. It's snowy, it's cold, it's a little icy. These trucks can struggle to get up and out of the ramp. 
So that's what the blades do in there. He's got some carbide tips on the rippers. He'll lower those on the ground and create some really nice traction up and out so these trucks can get on their way. And the 518. East Hosper. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Um, what a different, are those are the only two types of crest coal haulers you have, 300 ton, 250? Uh, we, we have three different types here. And we've got two of them that are, one's a 240, one's a 250. And I, you know, we run them 250 ton, both of them. And then the 300 tonners. So they are three different trucks, two different weights, mm -hmm. 250 and 300. So they're, they're nice trucks. All they seem nice. They seem They're really cool. Smooth ride, and I, I didn't set your seat up either. I could have done that before you got in. It's there. it's riding smooth. It's okay. Yeah, it's riding smooth. It's good. Turn all the lights on so they can inspect them. Awesome. This right here is a Caterpillar 793 haul truck. Now, you're probably wondering why do they need a specialty machine just to haul coal? Well, this truck here is built to haul dirt rock. So it can haul over 200 tons of material in that bed. The thing is with coal is that it's a lot lighter than dirt and rock. So you can put as much of this in the bed of this truck as you want. You can mound it all the way up and you still won't load it to its capacity. So that's the advantage of the Crest trucks. While it has the same roughly hauling weight, 200 to 240 tons of material, it can haul uh, twice the volume almost that this truck can haul. So you get a lot more coal hauled with those coal haulers than you would with these traditional haul trucks. A huge thank you to North American Coal and NACO for having us out. The Freedom Mine here is one of my favorite mines. Of all the mines I go to around the world, one of my absolute favorite. Thank you for having us and letting us show off what it is that you do and your machines that do it.